This is the ambiguous case part one. In this uh, clip I'm going to demonstrate the side side angle case and why it's the ambiguous case and how zero, one, or two triangles can be created when you have two sides in an angle. Uh, I'm going to do that by solving a, a three different triangles and trying to demonstrate the, di the three different cases that could happen. First in this case we're given the information in red that 50 degrees is the angle four and three are the sides. And I'm going to try to show you why this triangle doesn't exist. First, let's determine the height. The height of this triangle is equal to four times the sine of 50 degrees, which is approximately 3.06. As you can see, the, the height is bigger than this side. And this side here uh, and this angle here are free and, and cannot move. Let's see what happens. This is the same triangle. Notice there's BD. There should be a ray or side here. Watch what happens when I try to bring this 3 down to make a triangle. Notice that the height is 3.06 and the side isn't going to reach. You can see that C is less than D, slightly less, 3 and 3.06. It's not going to make a triangle. So what is the condition which creates, or what's the situation that creates 0? Thus, as you can see, when this side is less than the height, um, there's going to be zero triangles. So that's the first case. Now let's demonstrate or show you the situations or the conditions where you get one triangle. In the second situation, you can see I just changed the sides 3 and 4. This totally changes the situation because the height is now changed. And the height now becomes, let me move that in there, the height now becomes 3 times the sine of 50. Now notice that's about 2.29 and this side which we can move because this angle is not fixed up here is now bigger than 2.29. Let's observe what that looks like on in this script. I tried to get as close as I could to having 3 of 50 degrees and then 4. Watch what happens when I move this side down. You, you can see now I didn't intend to change this the angle, but you can see I'm trying to get close to 50 and 3. As I move this side down, you see there's the triangle that's formed. Notice that it's bigger than the height, but it's also going to sweep past here. So the only triangle that exists is this triangle. And once you know this one triangle, uh, you can easily use the law signs like you've been doing to solve this situation. Now let's take a look and see what happens when we have a two triangle situation or the conditions that create two triangles. Before I move on to the two triangle situation, let's summarize what we learned about one triangle. What creates one triangle is when, well there's two situations that can occur. If this side is equal to the height, then you have a right triangle and there's therefore one triangle. But what we just learned is if this side is bigger than both the height and this third side, uh, it also could be equal to this third side. You're going to have one triangle. So that's the summary there. Now let's move on to two triangles. I'm now going to make this third side uh, a measurement that would create two triangles. Uh, so first let's wrap up what we did before. If this side, the height still is 2.29. If this side is bigger than the height and the third side, like in the previous problem it was 4, if we make it 5, if we make it 6, that's going to create one triangle. And if we make it anything less than 2.29, it's going to be no triangles. Like if this side's 1, or that is this side is actually 2, there will be no triangles. Let's put in a number that's in between the height and the third side. And let's demonstrate why that would create two triangle situations. So here we have 2.5. It's certainly bigger than the height, so the triangle exists. What makes it create two triangles? What happens there? Uh, let's go back to the script, and you can play around with this on the web page if you'd like. Here is the situation as best as I could get, describe, to get it. This is a 49.9 degrees instead of 50, and that's 2.98. Uh, but here's the 2.5 side. Let's swing it down and see where the two triangles come from. First, the triangle that most of you will get with the law of sines is this one. But notice that I can bring it past the height, and since it's less than the third side, you can see there is the second triangle right here. So there is two triangles that are created with this situation. Um, and to summarize it, if this side here that's moving, in this case 2.5, is bigger than the height and less than the third side, it's going to be able to swing around 
and create two triangles. It looks like the here is an obtuse triangle with a 50, 2, 3, and 2.5. And then over here, an acute triangle with 50, two, uh, 3, and 2.5. Let's summarize this, what creates two triangles in a summary. You get two triangles when this side that could be moving, because this angle is locked, is bigger than the height and then less than that third side. In the second clip, what I'll do is demonstrate how I, how do you get those two triangles. Everybody's going to be able to get the one triangle using the law of signs when one triangle situation exists. And now you'll know uh, by the test, if you test for zero triangles, you won't have to do anything. Just calculate the height and compare that to this side here. So in the second clip, I'll demonstrate the two triangle situation and how you find those two triangles.